Hi, we're going to do a bait demonstration again today. And today I'm going to show you guys a nice little mackerel bait, which I fished with, in, especially in the Eastern Cape a few years ago, that worked very well for me. It's a nice smelly bait, releases a lot of flavor, a lot of blood and, and oils, and it works very well for your flatfish, the sharks and rays. So it's just going to be one mackerel we're going to use, and we cut it in a specific way, so we actually expose the head and the gills and some of those flavors coming out of the head, and it really makes the bait work well. All right, so we're going to grab our mackerel, put it on the bait box, and our first cut is going to be sort of in the middle of the gill plate. So you're basically going to split the gill plate in half and run down towards the beak of your mackerel. All right, so we split the head open in the middle. As you can see there, there's all the, the sort of nice flavors in the head, a bit of the body, and sort of from the bottom jaw through the gill plate to the back of the head. So that's our first section of the bait. I'm going to put that one side and then we're going to go back to our mackerel and we're just going to cut a few slices about half a centimeter thick get all those flavors still in there your, your belly and everything it's going to make that part of this bait and I'll just make a whole bunch of slices So we've got all these slices and as you can see look at all the flavor in there pieces of gill plates piece of belly and we're going to add this onto the bait build it around it and it's going to be a nice smelly bait if you're not going to cast this far there's no need for a dingle so i'm just going to add the dingle onto this bait grab our bait needle and it's going to sort of force it through the middle of that dead down the mouth We're going to grab the dingle like that, put it through the mouth, unclip it, and then we're going to add our hook. Okay, we grab our cotton, just cotton that on. Right, from there we start adding our cutlets. Right, so basically I've used this whole mackerel, but you know as an angler you can determine exactly how big you want to make your bait because you're going to know what you're going to target and obviously if you're targeting a small sandy or brown skate or blue ray you're not going to go too big and if you're targeting something like a raggy or cow shark you can go very big with the same bait. Our bait's done. And it's a nice bait. As you can see, it's got a lot of flavor. All those cutlets we got in there, the head that we've cut open, so all those juices are going to come out. And it's a very nice and effective bait.